Tina Wellman Hawke founded the Dave Wellman Cancer Trust after losing her husband to lung cancer. I've got a picture here, this is in Jersey, and uh, as you can see by the look of this picture, I mean obviously with my lovely hair, but uh, Dave um, had a great sense of humour um, and that never changed really from the day he, he was diagnosed to the day he died. I'm hoping that people, whether they have been touched or not, can understand that it could be any of us tomorrow. Anyone could get a call saying that this is terrible news for somebody. Tina has been supporting the campaign for the cancer sciences in Southampton for the last 15 years. In 2013, she was awarded the NatWest and Venus Women in Business Award for Lifetime Achievement. When I won the award, um, I was really proud to have my family with me. And actually, here's a picture of my sister uh, actually collecting the award. So um, it was a really special day. But more bad news was to come. Sadly, four and a half years ago, her sister was diagnosed with the same lung cancer that her husband had. It was like being hit with a, you know, sledgehammer, really. It, you always, it's always with you when you lose somebody because it's part of life that you can never, you know, you, you live with the good memories and luckily the good memories do nip in and the horrible ones disappear, thank God. But it does open emotions that you, you think you hadn't had to deal with anymore. And we're a very, very close family. You know, initially the first six months were horrendous and we didn't really know what was going on, but she was actually, you know, looked after by the same team that Dave was. So hence my, you know, my support now with the ongoing campaign they have at the moment. I can see the difference in what they've achieved in the last 15 years. And my sister is now here enjoying a holiday at the moment even. And she's actually having a quality of life. We are actually on the doorstep of one of the cancer centres of excellence in the world. And we are actually going to be part of history in the making really. So I'm proud to be part of that and I hope everyone else out there can say I am too. This is Shan Robbins for Solent News Now.